this bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. Start there, everyone had to move the microphone. Hello, everyone. All right, so welcome back to some Witcher 3. Where we left off, we had successfully destroyed the Noon Wraith here, banishing her back to the, the uh, ethereal realm, I suppose. We're now going to head back and turn in the contract, although I don't think we will accept the payment from this. The gentleman, while in a decent house, probably has less than most people do. And, well... We said we wouldn't take money from those who don't have it, and I don't think he has it. What else have we done? We've learned a bit about the area. I think it was the... No, the video before that, we had discovered the arsonist who burnt down the blacksmith shop. Yeah, all last video was basically us running around and getting ready for the new raid fight and then fighting it. We're going to have to... Excuse me. We're going to have to double-check our so supplies. Fast, and make sure that my swords are fully repaired before we head back out there. I don't want to run off into the wilds, which we're going to be doing soon, with gear that's subpar. It's back in town, so we'll try. I absolutely love this, the beauty of this game. This looks amazing. Oh, man. If you've watched my channel for very long, you know I don't tend to play great-looking games like this all that often. This is a real treat for me. It's best to be able to record it for you guys, too. Alright, so we're here. We're going to pick up all these herbs really quick. Since I'm interested in... Crafting. And these might be useful anyway to sell them if we end up with a surplus. I think there is a storage you can get later on in the game to keep things you don't want on you. It's just... It's been a while since I played, though. Alright. Anyway, we're back. Hello, sir. Job done. The well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every unburied wretch don't start haunting us. Well, that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they do, you know who to contact. Meanwhile, Claire, Volker, names ring a bell? I don't know him. Though I did hear our herbalist Tamira mention a Claire once. Same one, maybe? Your reward, Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. Without you, she'd never have lived to wed. Now, let's hope for it, at least. At this point, doubt I'll ever marry. You keep the coin from Mandy, her wedding. Raise a toast to my health then. Thank you, Master Witcher. Them's warm words, you've a good heart. But I can't let you go empty-handed. Take this, at least. Alive. Thank you, sir, very much for whatever that... An amethyst! Wow! That might have been worth more money than... than uh, the money we would have gotten from that quest to begin with. Uh, amethysts and all gems cost quite a pretty penny to purchase. Uh, it's probably worth at least, like, 50 coins to sell it as well. Gems tend to be ma used to make the harder to craft magical weapons and armor later on in the game. They're also used to make different rune stones, which I don't think we've found any at the moment, but we're likely to find some up ahead. Okay, well, I guess... Oh, right. Before we head out, we should visit the blacksmith really quick. Repair our gear, see if there's anything we want to sell. Slower. And then head on out. We'll march Roach over here really quick. Though I have a hunch Roach is going to march back to where he came from. Slow now. Whoa. He can't tie Roach up, so he's going to wander wherever it is that he wants to wander. A return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Show me what you got. Okay. Let's sell the witch... Um... Uh... What can we dismantle? What do we get for the Mitchell's, Witch, Witcher's Steel Sword? Leather scraps and iron ignit. A steel ignit linen coffer. Okay. Let's break down our hunting trousers. And our old steel sword. I'll add a few more ingredients to us. 
Now, what can we repair? Oh, only five to repair our silver sword. We should always keep that top notch. 22 for our short sword, but we'll repair it. We might as well keep this up to date. It's only down 4%. Uh, 4 oh, 31. We'll repair it anyway. And now what? Uh, we still can't craft that, though we do have one of the leather scraps now. Actually, what's our other crafting? Or dismantling? Can we get a... Cured leather. This is what we were looking for. We can take one of them. We can break down these leather scraps. We could all, oh, wow. More cured leather. This is amazing. And what can we sell to you? Anything? Uh, you'll buy a few gems. 51 for the amethyst. 42 for the pearl. No, we'll just hold on to this stuff at the moment. Later on, I may give in and begin vendoring all my dusts to people. Different merchants offer you different prices on the stuff, too. So you want to shop around before you decide whether or not you're going to actually, um... Uh... Go through with a... Uh, transaction. Okay, it's only 39 to make this armor, and this is significantly better than our current armor. I think we'll... Can we craft it? We'll buy two of these. Warrior's leather jacket created. We're down to only $83, though. So long. Okay, so that armor will prove really useful. Oh, and we're wearing it right now. So we gained a decent amount of armor. It's medium armor. We gained some resistances. And resistance to slashing damage, elemental damage. Wow, this is a fantastic suit of armor for a Witcher, especially at our low level. Also looks slightly different. It seems to have a blue tinge to it. I don't think he's going to come over here. We'll want to, re yep, enhance all our weapons as well. Before we head on out there. Okay, so we're down to 83 bucks. Oof. Uh, we can earn quite a bit of cash by scavenging. In fact, that's how our Geralt is going to end up making most of his money. We might have to... No, we're not going to break our, our rule. If, uh, if they're poor, we're not going to charge them. It's going to be so difficult, though, to earn money in the early game with that restriction. Uh, we're not even going to... Oh, no, we should stop by the gentleman out here, the merchant. We did pick up a few odds and ends in the ruins out there by the well. So we can probably vendor them. It'll clear out a bit of our inventory anyway and let us hold a little more weight. And then we're off to... Oh, right, where are we off Come to next? On now. We are off to... Find Dune Buildinvert. I am Medetta. I said Novigrad. All right, I heard I heard Novigrad. Something, probably something about how he misses being there. Greetings. Greetings, Sir Merchant. What are you offering? Let me have a look at your stock. Okay, so we are interested in selling the Black Magic Doll. That's two, three, nine, thirteen. 16, 20, 22. Oh, this is not very much. Um, we'll hold on to the diary at the moment. 23, and we'll sell this for 31 bucks. Oh, that is not a lot of money. We could buy some more weapon repair kits. This might not be a bad thing to get. We'll purchase one of them. Take care. I'll have to remember that he sells these and come back here later for them. Weapon repair kits generally are not things I remember using often. Like, because if you can make it to a merchant for your, your repairs, you should totally use the merchant instead. Come on, Roach. But the weapon repair kits are useful when you're in a dungeon and Run doing lots of fighting. The then you'll want to keep your weapons repaired by using those instead. 
Okay, so we're just following the track. Looks like we're gonna go back the way we came, past where the one griffin was attacked. We'll use our witcher senses while we're in that area. We'll see if there's anything of interest there. Here we are. No, nothing else. Sign for quick travel, some herbs on the road. I generally won't be picking herbs on the road very often on screen. But there may be a few hours of gameplay I do off screen where I just collect herbs and what have you. Uh, there's no reason for you guys to watch me just run around and dismount. Especially because I have a hunch I won't be able to find much to talk about uh, as we play through it. And oh my goodness, it's midnight, isn't it? 12.06. Absolutely beautiful place, this, this world. Right, we don't need to cross the bridge, apparently. We're going to stick to the roads. Roads are good places to meet bandits. Woods are good places to meet bandits and monsters. And I think there's some drowners around here. Off, Yep, there they are, off to our right. We'll be dealing with all of those, I think, in this video. That must be our dune. Hello, sir. Do that often? Talk to your dog? It's my brother's, Bastion's. But... Guess he's mine now. See, Bastion fought the Black Ones in a battle just outside the village. Haven't had word of him since. I told him, do like I did, lose a finger or two so they won't recruit you. Too damn afeard he was. Well, do you know? I'd walk the battlefield if I were you. I did. Sea of corpses. And corpses feeding. Someone told me they're afeard of fire, so I took a torch, tried to chase them off. All shite, I tell you. Would have ended up eaten alive if it weren't for Hussar here. Listen, guessing you carry those swords for more than show. Come with me. Keep the ghouls off. Help me find Bastion and I'll pay you well. Fine, I'll help you. Just... Been a few days since the battle. Chances we find your brother alive are slim. Very slim. Who would have thought? But I want to find his body at least. So Bastion don't rot there in the sun with the black ones. Meet me on the hill overlooking the battlefield. We'll move on together from there. Right, we have some time before we need to do that actually. Oh, sorry about that, Hassan. That's it, Roach. We'll explore this town a little more in-depth on our ride back through here later, after we're done with the graveyard. First, though, we're going to go down to see that edge right, the ledge down there, the little beach. We're heading down there. Oh, there's a note of some sort there. We'll want to read that as well. Looks like a note up ahead with the hanged men, probably traitors or deserters. Let's read this, gather the few herbs we see, and make our way down to the beach. Directive number A-289. Bearing the bodies of hanged and deserters and rebels is hereby strictly forbidden. Anyone caught trying to cut down hanging corpses will be summarily executed. General Merwin Rosen, Viceroy, the province of Tamaria. Wow. They do have their... Well, some of them have their heads covered, at least. I guess they're... Uh, how, does, how do I even describe it? The face they had when they died must have been horrific. Okay, everyone. So this is where I died. The first time I died, ages ago. The very first time I played the game... This is, I played through it on Blood and Broken Bones to start, and I didn't die to the ghouls, and I didn't uh, die the first conflict I had against the um, Noon Wraith, but I didn't kill her either. I went out here thinking maybe I had to gain a level or something, and I fought these drowners and they just destroyed me. So, um, I'm doing a little better this time. Hopefully we can do a lot better and just kill these things without too much worry. 
We're gonna find out right now, though. There they are. Okay. Right. Uh, Drowders are a little more agile than the ghouls were. And they have lunging attacks, which you can't block, unlike swipes, that which you can. That said, we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna have a single Quen to help us with this fight. There's gonna be four of them, I think. Let's do it. Oh, that was a big mistake, Geralt. That's not at all the direction I want you to move in. Ooh, nice. Good hit, Geralt. Ooh, that's a mistake. Oh, way to go, Geralt. You need to hit the right enemy. Good screech, sir. Oh! That was awesome. Let's eat this fish and kill this one last drowner. He resisted that blow. I tried countering it, but I don't think you can actually counter monsters. Okay, that could have gone a little better. We actually took a hit there, but we were victorious. Let's see what body parts they dropped for us. Liver. Liver. Nothing on that one that we sold in half. That was amazing, wasn't it? There are glory... Uh, glory kills is the wrong thing. There are very... Uh, I don't know quite how to describe it. Uh, Movie-like death animations which happen. Oh, Drowner Brains. I remember in the first Witcher, I spent a lot of time killing Drowners for their brains. They were worth one copper each, so you better believe I... I... I uh, whatchamacallit. Um... <clears throat> I looted every single Drowner I came across. Vic... Vicovaro Blade. Kedarian Gabelson. And Tawny Owl. Haunting Boots. And a runestone here. Emikara? Deco uh, decoction? Emikaras are these insects, if I recall correctly. They're poisonous as well, and dangerous if you get surrounded by them. We'll take a look at our loot after we search the rest of the beach. I wish we probably can, probably can run or jog down this. There are monsters about. Oh, hello. We'll cast a single Quen per battle. We'll do it now. <laughs> Woo! No talking during, during fights, everyone. There was no talking allowed. That could have gone a lot worse. We took no damage that time. Holy crap! If I didn't know any better, I'd make it look like I know what I'm doing there. The trick is to always just... You know, it reminds me of the uh, Batman Arkham Asylum game, and even uh, Hand of Fate. I mean, the combat's not quite the same, because it's not these automatic uh, punches and combos that you inflict, but it's all about you dodge first, and then you engage the enemy. Keep yourself from taking hits. Ooh, white bear mount, though. Nice. Uh, nothing else here that I see. Looks like maybe a merchant of some sort? His caravan or something lost quite a few things? White wolf hide. An empty- oh god, look at that corpse. We'll search all of these. Quick server solution would be nice. Okay, basically junk. The water will be useful. That will help restore some of our, our life. Oh, hello. A chest has been buried here. Ah, rope ladder is particularly useless. 21 orange, though, is very nice to get. Okay, so there's a group of bandits up in that ruin up there that I am really not interested in fighting. They will prove to be a little too difficult for me at the moment, and I want a single level. Once we're back on the road, I think we'll take a look at our... Our loot from down below and see what we're keeping and what we're not. 
Come on. Okay. Let's see. What have we got? We picked up some hunting boots, plus six armor, some decent resistances, too. Unfortunately, it's in, it's in a bad way, 69%, but it's still better than our current boots, so we'll equip it. We gain a steel sword, plus 28 armor piercing, with an empty slot, 28 through 34 damage. So it does one more point of damage than this, and it has armor piercing. I think we're below... I think our damage is lowered by 3 until we repair it. We'll equip it. We'll stop by and see how much it costs to repair. We also picked up some rune stones. These are useful to sell for the starting cash. It'd be nice to put them in our boots or sword, but it's nicer still for the money. Especially given how we're, we'll be playing the game. And two waters. Okay, not bad. We're getting qu amassing quite a bit of stuff. That's good. There was a note we wanted to read over here somewhere. It looks like a bunch of herbs. There might be a few other odds and ends about here. But I don't think we are here to steal anything. The note was in a tree by where we saw those people meeting. And a treasure chest back here. And an interesting door. A red door? Okay, we'll take a look at this place. I don't think I ever walked into that before. Bearing the bodies of hanged desert. Oh, we've seen this already. Those are probably Temeria soldiers. Yes? That's your service. I guess this is what's left of their town slash homes. The black ones must have come through and destroyed it all, raided everything. Aww. Yeah, refugees, I suppose. I'm not going to go through their stuff. That is a symbol that there's some nasties up ahead. Bandits, I think, are up ahead down that way. I am actually really curious what's in this building. Let's go ahead and investigate that door. Destroying objects. Oh, okay. This is the hint that we can destroy this door, I suppose. I didn't realize the game actually told you you could do this. Oh my god! Poor guy just got slaughtered somehow. Well, if we weren't allowed supposed to be in here, we wouldn't have been allowed to break it. A silver ignit! Amazing! That is awesome! Silver swords will be some of the most precious things we'll, we can create. Uh, we'll need the damage that they can grant us when we begin fighting stronger and stronger creatures as we begin the level. Alright, let's go back and find Dune. Our weapon is almost degraded. Oh, right, and your blacksmithing uh, just carries over to other weapons that you might pick up and equip. It's not just the weapon that you had, I think. We could go back and we sharpen our blade before we come back out here again, but I think we'll be fine. So the battlefield is the one which we actually saw in the beginning of the game, if I recall correctly. This is where we fought the ghouls at first, right here. And the battlefield we'll be going to will have been the one in which, well, we saw the fight, I guess, that Yennefer had. So many corpses. And the war just started. Alright, oh wow. Dog must miss its master. Hello, Dune. You're here, good. Bastion. His body must be here somewhere. Among countless others. Want to examine them one by one? Could take a while. You needn't fret. The recruits from White Orchard painted a small flower on their shields so as to be able to spot each other in battle. There was just a few of them. We look for the flowers, we'll find Bastion quick. No offense, but many a soldiers dropped his shield. Especially if he was on the losing side. 
If we find the shield alone, Hassan will catch the scent and lead us to Bastion. Come on. Sooner we get this done, the better. Objects will sometimes direct you to a general area, but their exact position is unknown. So that's that, that's that circle. We've already seen the fact that there are... Yeah, we can see them over there. We have some nasty uh, ghouls. We can search the graveyard later. Right now, I'm interested in... Well, actually, I guess we can search it now. Oh, right. Blunt axes and ashes. We're we'll getting uh, quite a few of these. All right, let's do this. I missed. That's going to really stink. Try, Mr. Ghoul. Ooh, that was a good hit, Geralt. Nice dodge as well. Oh, it heals slightly after it roars. That's right. It regenerates. No, I don't think so. Not today. Nice, good stun, Geralt. One more hit will do it. so bad, though I doubt that was the only one out here. Yeah, one more walking over there. We need to find a very particular shield. Oh, and there's more body parts here. That him? No. Doesn't look anything like him. Hassan will check anyway. Come and on, Hassan. Can you smell Bastion, boy? Uh, still nothing. I think this might be the actual shield we're looking for. Uh, skin's burned off. Might be hard to tell, I know, but could this be him? Oh, yeah. Bastion was big, broad shouldered. This one seems smaller, but maybe it's the fire that did that. Hassar will know, if you want to call him over. He found him! Hassar's caught he's sent! Come on! Oh, okay, good. So I don't know where the dog went. Oh, maybe to the structure. But there is more. My lieutenant demanded we defecate on command. Ballista bolts, landing all around, and all he could say was, a soldier with a full stomach will not step onto the battlefield. Now shit, that is an order. Can you believe it? The cretin. Stop, oh, you're, oh, you're killing me, my, my ribs. Oh, it hurts to laugh. That needs a tourniquet. But first, wanna explain what's going on here? Bastion! Is he... Has this Nilf Guardian captured you? No. He saved my life. I, I got a cut to me side. And then got hit in the head. Couldn't see anything. Rosinia found me as... As he crawled across the battlefield. His legs twisted. And so we were. A blind man leading a cripple. Found this place. I'm taking you home. We need to see to these wounds. I won't leave Rosinia. I'll own he'll die. And he can't go back to his home. He's deserted. They'll hang him. And what if they find him with us? They'll hang us all, my Laisha included. No, the Blacken stays here. Hmm. Both are correct answers. I don't know which one to give. Personally, I think is I think he's right. But he'd be dead if not for Bastion. We can mention this and let his brother decide what to do. Bastion only made it with the Black One's help. Maybe you ought to show him Nordlings aren't as barbarous as Nilfgaardians make us out to be. Well, I could give him our pa's clothes, teach him to work the field, 
But that accent. Fine. I'll take him in. Thank you, Witcher. Your reward. And the gods protect you. I actually thought he'd still refuse, which is still fine. I just thought I'd point out that, yes, if not for the Black One, that would have done it for him. We're actually not going to call Roach. We're going to search the battlefield here. There's at least one more Corpser out here to kill. Did we level? No, we did not level. Oh my goodness, it's going to take us so long. If I remember correctly, we will reach level 2. Other levels... We might hit level 3 by the time we're done this area, but it will be tricky. We'll have to do every single quest and kill a ton of crap that's out here. Well, I feel a little bit better with it being daybreak. Oh, there's a lot more corpses out here. Walking versions, at least. We'll search all the bodies. The axes will sell for quite a bit once you add them all up. Yep, normally I'll do this off-screen, but we're recording this area now. Let's do a, some more battling. We'll use a single Gwen here. Ugly bastard. No, Garrett, I wanted that drawn out. Dodging, Tim. I'm not talking. Oh, hello. Another one came to the came to the battle. I'm gonna want a Yurden sign. They're healing over time. It's gonna make this note and get behind me. Good backslash there, Daryl. Thank you. Oh, did I get two of them? No, I injured one. Oh, Done that one. Can I kill this one quickly. Nice, excellent work, Geralt. Thank you. We'll have one of those chicken legs. Oh, hello! I didn't think we'd get one of these out here so soon. Or rather, I guess I've forgotten where we would find one of these. This, I believe, is a magical. Uh, what's it called? Uh, I don't remember. Focus. This will increase one of our... The power of one of our spell scores. Place of power. It's gotta be. Oh, there's also a monster nest here. We should blow that up. Uh, I think we made the bombs to destroy it. Let's do so. Come on. Sometimes you get ghouls. Stop that. Nice. Good hit, Scarlet. One more hit will do it. Let's let it run around for a tiny bit, and then we'll get it when it leaps. Oh, or not. Fine with me. Did he drop anything? No. The monsters loot, however, can be found here for their um, monster pit. A gold ruby ring, very nice. That'll fetch a pretty penny. And more importantly for us, an actual place of power. We've gained an ability point. Let's go to our character. So, we haven't actually gained a level, but we gained a point in this tutorial zone if you find all every place of power you find will give you one point and there's five places to find yep so let's cover these really quickly these are all the combat trees that we have these are all the signs our magical powers alchemical ink, uh, abilities general abilities which generally only one point is needed in one of these to unlock it and mutagens um, 
It's weird to see- Oh, this is where I assign the mutagens. Okay, I've been looking for this, I think, in the last video. Okay, well, anyway, so we get to choose a point. So we can increase the damage of our fast attack. Oh, I'm sorry. We know how to use all this stuff. Uh, a crossbow, how to defend, etc., etc. As you can see here, we can increase adrenaline point gain and fast attack damage by 5% for every point we put into muscle memory. We have the same options for strength training. Arrow deflection, which would allow us to, obviously, as key, block arrows. You can slow down time while using the crossbow, and it loses adrenaline points increase the damage we do, and can be used for like one or two skills much later on in the game, from what I recall. And this would let us retain those adrenaline points for longer periods of time. All the spells can be upgraded as well. In the past, I went right for a Quen. Yeah, for upgrading it. I may end up taking three points in this anyway, but I will not take any more in Quen if I do decide to go down that path. Increases sign duration by five seconds. Number of alternate mode charges set. Oh, this is for our Yurden sign. I do tend to use this very often, so I think we'll work on this first. We'll take one point in this. Done. Now we can drag. Oh, that's right. We're only allowed to have so many active at one point, so we can drag this over here. And now we're going to benefit from this. We don't have a Mugen... Oh, okay. So we don't have a Mugen slot unlocked yet for us to put a Mugen in it. So it will just have... Our Mugens will just have to sit here. Uh, right. We can't use Mugens at the moment. No game. We're not allowed to. And as you can see, we've improved... What is that? Is that Quen? That's Quen. This is the Quen one. Okay. So Quen's sign intensity has been increased significantly for a little while. We might as well search the corpsers that we killed. Ghoul's blood, I think, is worth like five gold to the right person. So I guess we'll finish the search of this battlefield, go back to town, and then, um... Actually, I can do this off-screen, everyone, so why not I'll be right back. Hey, everybody. All right. That was a really ghoulish task of sorts. But I've searched the battlefield. We're going to be leaving it with quite a few garbage swords. And I believe... A ton of blunt axe heads. So we're going to be selling these to a merchant who, can per who will purchase them for us and give us some coins or help us break them down. Before I left, though, I saw a treasure chest. I'd like to see what's inside of this. Albedo. Okay. That's going to be a... I don't think that's a potion. That's, I think that's an ingredient we can make. An amateur's weapon repair kit. Very useful. Okay. Let's... Get out of here. I don't think there's anything else in this area. And if there was, we're going to be, end up leaving it here. Where I can come back... Oh! Nope! Hold on. We do have a treasure chest. Another one. Five orins only. Well... We can't really complain. It's something. Okay, so we're heading back to the merchants in White Orchid. And then we'll figure out where we're going to go next. So let's head on out. Um, what else is there to talk about? So I feel kind of really bad for the situation involving the deserters. There's no easy way to solve a problem like that if not for the... Um... The Nilf Guardian. That one gentleman would have been dead. But if they take him under their wing to protect them, they run the risk of the, all of them being killed, and the family for that one gentleman as well. Hopefully, they won't get detected. But most likely, they will. People will recognize the accent of that one gentleman. And given the amount of anger currently directed toward the Black Ones, given that they're invading and everything, it's likely to go very poorly for the f for him. Someone might report him, and or he might just be killed. Hopefully those things will work out, or they'll leave this area to go to some other area where both factions get along with each other, but I don't even know if that's possible for them. 
Ah. I don't know. Ah. That's one thing about this game I've always enjoyed. There's no... Well, in most situations, there's no right answer to such dilemmas like that. And normally, if I remember The Witcher 1, you're punished for either option that you pick to get you used to the idea that there's no right or wrong here. Or rather, I'm sorry, there is right or, rights and wrongs, but it's different... Uh, how should I say? Different shades of gray, which tends to be the case for most things anyway. I'm thinking now of the original Bioshock and how the... Uh, I thought it was going to be a big decision whether or not you uh, devoured the little girls for their atom or let them live and get less power, but you... Uh, you feel better about it. And instead, they give you more power and more stuff if you let them live, so there wasn't actually a choice there. But this game is one of the few ones, I think, which actually gives you decent choices to make. Oh, we passed right by one of the merchants we wanted. Okay, sir, we're back. We have axe heads for you this time, if you'll buy them. Greetings. Greetings. I have a bunch of crap. Let me have a look at your stock. I'm sure he can use it for some of this stuff for something. So let's see. So... I'd rather hold on to the hides. And he'll buy each axe head for only two dollars. Think we'll sm smell? Think we'll sell that? Oh wow, the horse hides are worth 25 each to him though. We'll sell just one of them. At the moment. Might as well fender this. And I think we'll sell at least like 30 of these. There we go. Our money situation is now lo not looking quite as dire. Only 30 for the gold ruby ring. I think we'll hold on to it and try to vendor it to someone who might give us a little more. Oh, we did pick up a single item, a thing of raw meat. We'll hold on to it at the moment. And is that it? Is he buying swords? He will buy these, but only at two each. And he gives us almost nothing for the rune stones that we picked up. I think we'll just hold on to this and see how much the blacksmith will give for us. Uh, give it, give us for this stuff. Take care. So I think we'll do this, and then we can we'll talk to Vesemir and see if he has any advice or tips for us. We have enough we could buy a card or two for our Gwent deck. Freak. Shut up! <laughs> I am I am a freak. But we'll go ahead and hold on to the money at the moment. I don't... Can you get back here? While we're here, we'll visit the sharpening stone thing. A return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Show me your wares. Show me what you got. Okay, he's buying these for one coin more. So it's a good thing we didn't bring them here. He'll buy this for 18 more gold, and he's not interested in the blunt axes at all. Okay, that's still useful to know. I'd rather not sell this for 48. It's probably worth more if we can find a jeweler somewhere out here or something of the sort. Uh, and he'll buy these for a tiny bit more, but I still think we can get more money for the runestone somewhere else. Let's sell most of the swords. Okay, there we go. Do I want to sell the boots? No, we'll break the boots apart for their component parts. We could sell some of the monster stuff to him. He actually doesn't pay a bad amount for them. Six for each Venom extract. That's useful to know. Oh, I don't know if I pointed this out, but merchants also only have a limited no amount of money. They will restock their money and their supplies every so often, but he only currently has $450 more available to uh, for us. You know, we can get a lot more Venom extract somewhere else. Let's, let's sell him all five. Oh, no, we might get him for crafting. Speaking of crafting, let's go to the dismantling. 
And what do we get for this? Leather scraps and iron ignit for both of them. Okay, we'll, we'll break some of these apart. And we could probably use more leather scraps. What is this worth? Hardened leather. That's why this is worth so much. Hardened leather is not that easy to come by, if I recall correctly. We only have one of it. It generally, and uh, yeah, why not? We'll break this down. Uh, I think that will probably do for us at the moment. Always repair your equipment. It's not heavily damaged. We'll, we will repair it anyway. The, oh, the boots. Why not? We have a bit of cash now. And, oof, well, we had a bit of cash then. Uh, maybe we should sell him the ring after all. Let's do it. No. Oh, we can get 24 for selling the blunt axe. That's half of the... Okay. Can we break apart the axe heads? Oh, these give us a steel ignit. And it's three each? I think we'll just... Uh, we'll, nah, we'll hold on to everything. We're good. So long. Oh, one second, everyone. I think those plums are wreaking havoc on my gut. I have an air conditioner in this room, and I'm not sure if the microphone will pick it up when it actually activates, so I might occasionally mute myself. I'll check when this video is done to see if it actually will impact us or not. Where are we? Oh, right. Um, Vesemir. We'll talk to him, and then we can probably play for like another five to ten minutes in this episode. Black guards are patrolling the area. You'll note that we'll hear a lot of the same things as we go through this area. They're keyed. The game is keyed to play things as you pass by. All right, Roach. Let's head on in and is it Vesemir? I guess we can tell him at least what we've discovered. Wow, who are, who are these people? Hello. Damnation! The plague! <laughs> I don't know about your outfit, sir. It looks like you just got out of bed. I guess you guess you t if that's what you can afford, you wear it. Yes. What is it, Wolf? Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun. Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. See you later, Vesemir. Yeah, becoming witchers ages them slower, but they do still age. I think sorceresses also are older, significantly from what we see them as. Something else you'll be needing. Elf guardian rule to your liking? What's there to like? It is the same as any other. They tax us, requisition this or that, but they do keep the peace in the village, I'll grant them that. You don't mourn Tamaria's passing? I mourned it around half a year back when King Foltes was cut down. Now, now I just want peace. Got anything interesting under the counter? Depends what you're after. Have a look. So I would really like another... Oh, 54 Gwent card. No, we're not going to be uh, buying any of these, at least not at the moment. It's too expensive. I don't think we have anything she'd want to buy. Oh, she'll pay him one extra coin for the ring. And she'll pay four for each of these? Oh, just one. No, four. Oh, man, I should have sold the axe heads to her. Twice as much money. Okay, well, I know now. Let's vendor these. 
And does she want anything else? I guess we'll hold on to the... Oh, wow. 41 for the white bear hide. I didn't look to see what that we could craft that into. I guess we'll just hold on to it. Farewell. We could sell it to afford a card, though. Okay. So now where? Let's look at our quests. Oh, we have a collection of Gwent cards, so I don't think there's... Is there any of this in this area? No, nothing. All right, then. Let's head out adventuring. I think we'll try to come down here. Let's set a, our custom marker, which should show up on our map. Yep. And we'll head out there and explore that one location. Give you Let's go, Roach. I still haven't done anything with the camera. Darn it. I'll have to check that after this is done. God, everyone's really disgusting in this area. Uh, I'm going the wrong way, Tim. Crickets. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the bug paste is just too much for me to get past when you eat insects. Oh my god, so disgusting. Freak. I guess some people must really like it. I guess it's like eating custard. Of sorts. It's really gross, though. I prefer not to eat crickets at all. But I guess if you're starving to death, you'll eat whatever. Uh, would that really oh, I forgot the, to sharpen the weapons. Let's we'll do that now. while I'm here. Um, yeah, right. I guess if you're starving to death. But if you can't keep it down... Hey, Roach, what are, you, what are you doing? No, no, no. Stop that. Stop that. Don't you look at me. Oh, we want to go up this way. All right, we want it out into the wilderness. We're going to be going. Time to see what's over here. I think there's another one of those places of power out this way. I think there might be a few wolves out here, which can be very dangerous for us at our low level, but we're going to give them a shot anyway. I may do some stuff off-screen between this and the next video as well. I may end up just um, harvesting a few herbs out here. Because I don't intend to record every single thing. We would just... This playlist would be like 200 videos easily. Hello. There's something out here. A mountain. Guess we'll go around the mountain. So, what else is there to talk about? What other quests have we done? Ah, yeah, that sucked for the. Oh, hold on. Of power. Yep. Should draw from it. Yep. We'll do this. I don't detect anything close by to this. This is an Ard sign, I think. As you can see, it replaces... Oh, it's not Ard. What is that? Erden? No. That's the wrong button, Tim. It's not Axie. Is it Quen? Oh, sorry, Roach. Oh, I can pull Roach to me that way? You're probably not going to like that very much. What sign is that, though? It's not Igni. Okay, well, let's, let's move on. Oh, wait. No, no, no. No, no, no. We got a... We got a point. That would be C for character, Tim? If you can bring up... <coughs> your... your, your uh, whatchamacallits here? I guess we'll just click on these. One more point, everyone. I think we're going to max out our... Erden. I'm uh, sorry, um... No, that's right. Yurden. So let's do so. Awesome. Backs out. So our traps last for 10 more seconds. And number of alternate mode charges, 9. Number of standard mode traps. Oh, okay. So I don't know what alternate mode is yet for this. I'll have to check my configuration. But with our standard mode, we, get, we can place two of these traps down now, not just one. That's it, Roach. 
What do we have over here? I see the... The tent. Hostiles. Deserters. Oh, I missed. Using Roach to attack can do a lot of damage if you're not like me. I'm gonna try to move off to the side here. Ah, oh, missed. <laughs> There's uh, gonna be quite a bit of this, I think. Let's try to get that archer. Nope. The horse is fear level, so the... The more you're around a hostile, the more afraid Roach will become. Generally, it's always in your interest to... Oh, we'll, we'll get the axe guy, assuming I can... Can. Oh! Sliced half his body off. Nice. Nice going, Geralt. Let's run the corner. Oh, that's gonna happen to you, sir. You should know better than that. Shouldn't shouldn't say mean words to people. Okay, well done. He had a rope ladder on him. I don't, I don't know where they were planning on going, but I guess it involves some climbing. Ducal water. That would be an alchemical ingredient. We might as well search everything. We cleared them out for whatever it is that they had here. This was a group of deserters. Looks like Tamirian soldiers. Oop, one second. again. Looks like a nice place. I guess they set themselves out where hopefully no one would ever find them. A chicken sandwich? We killed a guy for a chicken sandwich. Okay, I guess I'm not really going to complain. Is there someone dead out here too, it looks like? Yep. A blackjack. Yeah, they were probably out here wait, hoping to prey on other people. Is that really it? Uh, there's another... There might be something over else over there. By the other campfire. There's a lot of deer out that way. Can't knock that down at all. Let's check the other campfire and then we'll call the session. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully this is interesting. It's gonna be a, it's a whole lot to this game, so if it's not interesting now, I please let me know. Cause I don't uh, you have to tell me how I can make it better if it's not. Alright everyone, well we're done with this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see everyone in the next one. Take care everyone.